the reader is is the main character in this book, which makes it very different from any other zombie novel that I've read. Uh, you are the character. You make the decisions. You move the story forward in whatever direction you want to take it, uh, whatever speed you want to take it. It's really up to you how the story plays out. You can choose to hide in your apartment, or you can choose to head to the countryside, or you can choose to hook up with the Hell's Angels and chop off zombies' heads, or you can choose to hang out at a strip club. You can choose to basically do whatever you want. So the, you're really driving this book. If zombies attack New York City, I'd probably wet myself first, um, and then I'd retreat to my apartment, I think. I'd put on a movie, and I would hope that the whole thing would blow over. And if it did not, I would head out with some homemade weapons and try to find a cool car and um, head out into the, into the wild, try to do like Mad Max, sort of roam the, roam the jungles and the wilds of this new zombie world. Well, I knew I wanted to write a zombie novel, and I sat down and started writing out things that I wanted to have in it. Um, and as I did that, I realized I couldn't get them all in one novel. It would make no sense. It would be completely gibberish. Um, I, I knew I wanted to have snipers, in the Statue of Liberty, shooting zombies in the head. And I knew I wanted to have a character return to his hometown and find his old high school sweetheart and have them fight zombies together. And I also knew I wanted the Hell's Angels in there. And I wanted like a stripper with a samurai sword. And I was like, I can't get this all in one book. I loved the Two Joint Adventures as a kid. So I said, well, why don't we just do basically 75 little books in one book and you choose which way you go. The book basically is a game. You start off in an office building, and then you're spit out into this world, which is overrun with zombies, and you can choose what you want to do, where you want to go, what weapons you want to choose. If you, if there's a point where you can decide between uh, the big buck hunter shotgun, which is a fake gun, or a handful of darts, or a chainsaw. It's up to you. It's really like playing a game. You can choose what vehicles you want to take as you uh, head out into this messed up future. So it, it's basically playing a game through a book.